Hi there. It's been a while, hasn't it? I've been busy with the team at the review room and there's lots of exciting stuff happening over there and more on that later. Now, late last year, we touted Samsung's Tab 7.7 .7 as the best 7-inch tablet in the market. Now, a year later, I still love its design, the look and feel of the hardware. Now, way back then, it didn't really have that much competition. Of course, this year has been the year of 7-inch tablets, culminating in the release of the iPad Mini last week. Now, I wondered, what if the Tab 7.7 .7 had just been released? Now, how would it stack up against the new iPad Mini? Let's have a look and see how this year's old model does against Apple's latest tablet. Now, both tablets are designed to be held naturally in portrait mode, and the front camera is positioned accordingly on both devices. Now, because they're both manufactured with such precision and with high-quality materials, it's actually quite hard to tell them apart. Truth be told, the Tab 7.7 .7 is a little easier to hold because it is a little narrower. The iPad is 7.2mm thin compared to the 7.8mm of the Tab 7.7, .7, so we're splitting hairs there. The iPad mini weighs in at 308 grams, and the Tab 7.7 .7 is only 25 grams more. Not even noticeable given the dimensions are so similar. Now the iPad mini has a 5 megapixel camera on the back, where the Tab 7.7 .7 has a 3 megapixel camera. However, the Tab 7.7 .7 fights back with a 2 megapixel camera on front, which gives it a small advantage for video calls compared to the iPad mini's 1.2 megapixel camera. Now display-wise, the iPad mini has a 1024 by 768 pixel resolution, which delivers 163 pixels per inch density, compared to the Tab 7.7 .7, which has a 1280 by 800 pixel resolution that provides 196 pixels per inch density. Now the iPad mini uses an IPS screen for bright clear colors and wide viewing angles. However, the Tab 7.7 .7 has a Super AMOLED Plus display, which even to this day stands out as one of the finest small tablet displays I've ever seen. The iPad mini is run by a A5 dual core processor with half a gig of RAM versus the Tab 7.7, .7, which is also powered by a dual core processor. Now, when we ran some benchmarking, we got some interesting results. For Geekbench computational scoring, the iPad mini scored 757 and the Tab 7.7, 1170. In GeoBenchmark, the 720p on-screen test gave the iPad mini 59 frames a second versus the Tab 7.7, 51 frames a second. In browsing, the iPad mini scored 120,000 on BrowserMark compared to 133,000 for the Tab 7.7. .7. And finally on SunSpider, the iPad mini posted a time of 1498 milliseconds compared to the Tab 7.7, 7, 1174 milliseconds. Now, speaking of browsing, the Tab 7.7 7 shows a little bit more information in portrait mode, but the iPad mini covers a lot more of a web page in landscape. So, the Tab 7.7 7 is actually superior in most of the tests, and it's pretty old as far as tablets go, having been released almost a year ago. Now, unfortunately, in Australia, the Tab 7.7 .7 never got past Android 3.2, and upgrades have been sporadic around the world. However, I have flashed a custom ROM based on Cyanogen Mod 10, and it works extremely well, providing all the features of Jelly Bean OS. The iPad Mini, on the other hand, came out with iOS 6 on the day of launch, and will continue to get updates as part of Apple's global delivery. Now, I won't repeat the content and app comparison between iOS and Android, but we know there are issues facing tablet-specific apps for Android, which probably stifled the 7.7 .7 back when it was launched. But the fact is this, from a design and hardware perspective, the 7.7 .7 led the way for Android tablets back then, and as we just showed, it can still go toe-to-toe -to -toe today, and in many cases surpass Apple's latest product when it comes to benchmarking. So, that's our comparison of the iPad mini versus the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7. .7. Now, if you want to see the review room's iPad mini benchmark comparison with the Nexus 7, click over here. If you want to see the review room's iPad versus Nexus 7 general comparison, click over here. We'd love to hear your comments below, and remember to share and like this video if you found it useful. Great to see you again, and you know what? You haven't changed a bit. Until next time. Cool. Love them both. Right. right over here. And click over here.